Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India You are seeing me after almost 3 weeks so, by now we already have almost all the basic components and other parts of immunology and in last lecture you have heard the hypersensitivity or allergy and this uh, allergy or what we are going to discuss today is the autoimmunity that both are actually non-infectious right. So, it is not from pathogen. So, from the name autoimmunity you can understand that the immune reaction against our own or self right. So, during the development of T cell, development of B cell or diversity clonal selection hypothesis we always continuously said that all the auto reacting receptor containing lymphocytes are eliminated that is the clonal deletion ok. Today I am saying that no it is not completely deleted not only for from uh, our self antigen, but you know that we have lot of microbes or microbiota in different parts of our body particularly in uh, elementary canal. So, that microbes are foreign to us, but immune system they do not react with them right. So, they they are so integrated part of our system it the immune system thinks like they are I mean all the commensal microorganism I am talking about they are kind of our own uh, part of the body right. So, autoimmunity when it is developed like immune reaction against our own or self protein it is autoimmunity, but if there is any autoimmune reaction or the immune reaction rather against this uh, microbes present in our body different parts this is called xenoimmunity. But the reaction or the reaction type or the effect or the disease uh, symptoms all are so similar. So, both we are going to talk almost together ok. So, you will not differentiate xeno and autoimmunity. So, the basic concept or the basic principle why autoimmunity develop is the major part or the major role of immune system when it is not working properly. Major role of immune system is to identify self and non-self. So, what is the procedure that we so far discussed is uh, that somehow immune system learn to tolerate our own protein, own system, own organ, but if somehow that breaks ok. So, then immune system start reacting against our own protein. In fact, if you consider like when I was telling or uh, other professor, professor Ganguly was discussing the B cell immunity and in my lecture I discussed T cell immunity. What happen we always say that it is not reacting with our own protein because the self uh, protein uh, re uh, recognizing receptors of B and T cells are eliminated, but it is not practically possible. Why? Uh, I mean that kind of question might have uh, came to your in your mind that see there are many proteins in our system which is very similar to the foreign pathogen it is possible. Second is I mean very similar when a foreign pathogen attack and you know that antigen processing happens. So, the overall protein may not be similar to our own protein, but the after processing the piece of peptide that developed that may be very similar or very uh, may I mean very rarely it is identical, but it is possible that possibility is there. So, if all self reacting antibody uh, antibody or the B cell receptor or the T cell receptor if it is eliminated from the system then what will happen the our immune system will be impaired ok. It cannot um, function properly because if if there is a commonality between a pathogen antigen 
our uh, our own antigen is similar if the similar one completely eliminated from the system then what will happen that pathogen will also be neglected by the immune system because they cannot recognize it so it is not happen completely but there is a fantastic balance so that very rarely we have autoimmune disease so that means immune system somehow manage that if any how or if by any means if that balance is gone or disturb then autoimmune disease is happening okay so first what i'll do is uh, mm, what i will do is we are going to discuss uh, this uh, autoimmune disease in the first part there are, i will i divided actually in three part before that uh, i am supposed to tell like this is the acknowledgement and the most of the slides are taken from uh, this uh, genoese immunobiology book Ninth edition, and which is a copyrighted product. And uh, in autoimmunity, we are going to break into three parts. Actually, the making and breaking of self tolerance. That what we are uh, just discussing, like how this self toleration. I mean, we already discussed. We already discussed how this self uh, tolerance grown or how B cell T cell develop. So we are going to discuss again, and. Then autoimmune disease and pathogenic mechanism, like how autoimmune disease is developed and what are the uh, pathogenic mechanism, how the disease evolved, what is their symptom. Um, uh, definitely, we are not going to talk like uh, detail about the disease and all the symptoms and things because uh, this course is not for the medical student. And third, is there any genetic or environmental basis of, uh, basis of autoimmunity so that? Uh, we can figure it out okay this disease is genetic or environmental or is just uh, uh, accidentally it happen okay in any individual so first we are going to talk about making and breaking up self tolerance so i already told you that critical function of the immune system is to discriminate self and non self right so identify the self don't do harm find the non self clear it or clean it from the uh, system. So, this is a big table, okay. you do not have to worry about that. This is what happened there are different uh, disease in this panel like psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, Graves disease and uh, Sjogren's syndrome, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes. Here is what I am telling you do not have to remember all the table like okay, you can again I am telling you can and you can go through it you will find many information from here what it is telling is this these are the disease and this is the disease mechanism. So, if you see that it is mostly uh, whatever is written here is uh, either antibody or T cell mediated right and this is the consequence what happened to this disease okay, say Graves disease what is happening it is hyperthyroidism that means overproduction production of the thyroid hormones okay. and this last column is a prevalence and it is uh, actually no, not uh, alphabetically it is according to the prevalence of the disease. So, you can see this psoriasis is 1 in 50 maximum frequency and type 1 diabetes is 1 in 100. Okay. That means, this disease we do not see many, but it is not that rare also many cases it is very common to many of us that means, our immune system is not working properly or active. Uh, in all possible ways correctly in all the individuals. Okay. So, what are, I mean this is a summary, summary slide what we already discussed in previous all the lectures okay. except if you just um, ignore the hypersensitivity all these are already discussed how immune system tolerate our own protein or own uh, antigen because there is a central tolerance. What is that central tolerance? That is the deletion editing. That means B cell and T cell receptors are delete. I mean B cell and T cell containing receptor, which interact with our own protein, will be deleted. Okay, that we are telling from the very beginning clonal deletion uh, method. And this happened where it happened in thymus and bone marrow. Okay, then antigen segregation because all antigen are not exposed to the immune system like there is a physical barrier okay. and most of the time what happened the immune reaction is happened in uh, lymph node or spleen in the secondary lymphoid organ 
and secondary limb point organ do not have the access to all the organs like they do not see the pancreas, they do not see our retina. Okay. So, there are many many specified organ where immune system uh, where the reaction happened actually they do not see each other. Okay. So, like here the thyroid, pancreas there are many other such organ. Then peripheral energy that we have already discussed like even after the central tolerance when it is eliminated during the development either for B cell in bone marrow or T cell in thymus after that what happens? they come to the peripheral blood. In peripheral blood or peripheral system also they interact with many cell protein, but if the interaction is not very strong okay, that we discussed during T cell development if the interaction is not very strong if it is weak then they survive. Okay. If the interaction is very strong then they die they die by apoptosis. So, that is clear. So, not only the central tolerance there is also a peripheral tolerance also. So, after peri I mean after coming to the periphery if B cell and T cell can um, I mean, uh, interact with our own protein or own cell. So, they, they are not going to be activated and if it is a single interaction just like B cell receptor interacting with the protein only no T cell is involved or only T cell receptor interacting like cytotoxic T cell receptor interacting. So, they are supposed to kill it no it needs another activation right. So, the antigen presenting cell should give the co stimulatory signal to activate if you remember the T cell activation there are three signals are required 1, 2, 3 right one and there is one signal by T cell MHC second signal by B 7 and C D 28 and the third signal by the cytokines. I am repeating it because we discussed long back you might have forgot that or even if you remember I am just reminding you again. So, if only one signal 1 is there and 2 and 3 is not there that means, no co stimulatory signal that T cell will not be activated. Okay. So, in that case what happened it become energic, energic means they will be non responsive forever. So, this is how it is uh, happening. So, peripheral energy is also in the happening in the secondary lymphoid organ because interaction between B cell and T cell and antigens are going to happen in the secondary lymphoid organ. There are regulatory T cells that already you know different subsets of T cells like T17, T reg and T reg is controlling the uh, activity of other T cells because it is that is why it is regulatory. So, most of the time it is a negative regulator it is repressing or suppressing the T cell activity and that sub how it is of all you know that signaling is through cytokines. So, they gave the intercellular signals and the secondary lymphoid tissue and site of inflammation wherever the other T cell act the T regulatory cells stop them to be activated. So, that this is whatever I am telling here now is a normal case when immune system working perfectly. Okay functional deviation. So, differentiation of regulatory T cells that limit inflammatory cytokine secretion okay. and secondary lymphoid tissue are the site of inflammation. So, that again they stop the inflammation also not only that interaction and killing inflammation is also stopped by the uh, regulatory cell okay. and activation of induced cell death. So, that we are going to discuss again. So, these are the points I am telling. So, that means, if any cell interact uh, it, any cell means any B lymphocyte or T lymphocyte interact in the lymph node with our self antigen strongly that also gets the signal to die or death okay, by apoptosis. So, that means and how suddenly it will happen because initially they are supposed to be uh, deleted within bone marrow or thymus while when they are developing or maturation is happening but two possibility one is they may can miss that somehow the interaction was not that strong. So, they miss that screening came out to the peripheral system, but there is another chance in the lymph node also they have a possibility to interact even after that if it is very strong then they will die. So, apoptosis induced cell death of what kind of cell death the B cell or T cell and it happened by apoptosis and it is also in the secondary lymphoid organ. So, this is the normal mechanisms by which our immune system works properly. 
clear. So, any of this mechanism whatever I just discussed any of this mechanism if it is not working properly that means autoimmune disease. So, anything anywhere is missed or not working properly is autoimmune disease. So, autoimmune disease whatever the uh, reason I just discussed uh, what I mean how the self tolerance can break any of the previous points that can happen for two reasons. One, the genetic factors, it may be genetically uh, regulated or there are some genetic defects are there or may be some infection or environmental exposure induce that autoimmunity. Okay. Either genetic factor or in uh, infection and uh, environmental exposure, both are or both or independently alone, I mean individually also can induce the immune dysregulation or dysfunction which can leads to autoimmunity. Okay. Autoimmunity means development of the disease. So, now we are going to again one by one to see little more detail. Central deletion and inactivation of newly formed lymphocyte is the first checkpoint of the self tolerance that we already told right that you know already so many times so many ways we discuss that. How this thing happened? Because you see when this thing happened in bone marrow and thymus say here are only two examples are given say retina or ovary. Retina and ovary expressed some specific proteins many other organ produce specific proteins say pancreas produce insulin. Okay. It is a pancreas and not only whole pancreas there are islets of Langerhans and beta cell only produce insulin it is so specific. Now, how a T cell this is example of T cell it uh, you can uh, extrapolate to B cell also. How T cell will see insulin and uh, retina specific or the ovary specific proteins in thymus? There are many proteins which develops after puberty right many hormones develop after puberty many proteins may synthesize after puberty when T cell is almost done. Okay. So, what happens? So, there is there was a theory it like all the uh, thymus epithelial cell Okay, medullary cells where the negative selection happened they express all the proteins. So, they express all the genes transiently. So, that during T cell development they can see what is going on and they expose to all the proteins and eventually what happened there is a transcription factors A I R E which is autoimmune regulator gene was discovered later on. Okay was found that AIR is actually the transcription factor which regulates the expression of all the proteins in the thymic medullary cells. Okay, in the thymus medulla where the uh, negative selection happened it expresses all our own protein. So, what happened? So, during that uh, uh, period that means uh, time of the negative selection they expose to all our own protein. So, whichever is interacting strongly they die, but normally if they interact mild interaction is mild or not that strong or moderate they ignore it. Otherwise I just told in the beginning that if they eliminate everything then our immune system will also be very weak. So, strong binding will die and only those which is not uh, interacting strongly they survive and come into peripheral then the peripheral tolerance will come. How this discovered because the mouse okay, what they did they delete this AIRE. Okay. If the AIRE they deleted it develops autoimmune disease in human you cannot do that, okay. but there are diseases. Okay. If by any chance genetically I mean if this gene is not act, uh, acting properly or expressing properly what can happen? It can happen you can see autoimmune polyendocrinopathy candidiasis ectodermal dystrophy. Hmm. So, this is a very big name A P E C E D. No, you do not have to remember all this, you can, but you think that this is how each gene or each function. So, when any gene function was discovered, and we have to find for human, we have to find is there any individual where this gene is not there and see what is happening. Okay. So, this is autoimmune disease, and now after this, when AIRE, but we have a very handy model, we, we already discussed the mouse we can make a knockout mice. So, you make a mouse, but this gene is not there and see what is happening, okay. but 
uh, incidentally what happened we have some uh, in human with defective AIRE and this autoimmune polyendocrinopathy candidiasis ectodermal dystrophy kind of disease their symptoms and many of these things we do not have to remember okay. uh, or I did not put in the slides also because again I am telling we are not you are mostly not the medical students and I am also not a doctor to explain all these things and this is not all the scope of this study. Then second point lymphocyte that bind self antigen with relatively low affinity usually ignore them, but in some circumstances become activated. So, first normally they ignore, so it is normal, but if they activated that means it is not wanted. I mean in after coming to the peripheral blood if they interact very mild interaction is happening because there are some similarities always possible because anyway they are all are proteins. So, maybe out of say uh, 8 amino acids 6 are matching 2 are not matching. So, interaction if 8 are matching with the epitope the interaction will be very strong or nice or good, but if it is 6 or 5 are matching it is not that 0 interaction there will be an interaction because protein protein interaction does not uh, they do not know what is the fate. So, that moderate or no inter, uh, low affinity interaction normally ignore, but sometimes it get activated. How? See here this is an example. So, wherever example is possible I am going to give you the example. Here what is that B cell specific uh, with specificity of DNA. So, if B cell receptor okay, you also know that this, this receptor um, dimerization is very much needed it is not single receptor interaction is not always activate the cell. So, they cross link the receptor by DNA molecule, DNA molecule is big. So, if DNA molecule internalize what happened there are TLR 9 which has this uh, CPG or GC rich actually methylated version of um, DNA gets activated. What happened the immune system is not made for that immune system is actually the methylated uh, eukaryotic systems is uh, eukaryotic DNAs are methylated mostly, but prokaryotic DNA are that not I mean in the GC rich region. Okay. So, immune system made for okay, any DNA if it is non methylated that they will uh, bind and this TLR 9 will act, but in some case if the methylation is not proper in any part of our DNA that can activate the B cell and give the co stimulatory signal. Okay, they can express and activate the B cell, uh, T cell. Am I clear? So, DNA sometimes get endocytosed by this receptor mediated endocytosis, which interact with the TLR9 and can be activated to activate again by co stimulatory signal. Normally, it normally does not happen, but it hap if it happens, then disease can also happen. You can see it is very unlikely that DNA is traveling around in the blood or in other tissue because DNA is so um, uh, 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 inside the cell it is so much protected. See they are covered with histone and then nucleus, then nuclear membrane, then cell membrane. So, suddenly D uh, coming naked DNA into blood or um, exposed to the immune system is very rare. So, this is not a very common, but it can happen. So, now again what was I was telling the peripheral um, uh, tolerance. So, this is the normal case okay. all the all the um, B cell receptor or T cell receptor which is uh, interacting with the cell protein are eliminated, but we already discussed about hypermutation and I discussed during uh, diversity generation and professor Ganguly already discussed during B cell um, uh, what when it happened you know what is hypermutation. So, B cell maturation or B cell immunity also you have heard, uh, um, heard this term. So, during hypermutation what happened the CDR region change right. So, we told that hypermutation make the di make the B cell receptor more diverse as well as more specific okay, better antibody right. So, during that hypermutation when change is happening that change not only doing the good opposite thing also can happen by mutation they can become the auto antigen or self antigen specific. So, if it becomes self antigen specific after hyper mutation it was not before after mutation it changed 
the specificity towards our own protein. If this happen, this single interaction or cross linking gives a signal to die. So, that cell will also die in lymph node or the secondary lymphoid organ. So, they also are not going to come or see the uh, we will see them again. So, this is also a very good mechanism for the cell tolerance, okay. but by any chance if this does not happen for any particular antigen that B cell will be activated or T cell will be activated and that will cause autoimmunity. Okay. Antigen in immunologically privileged site do not induce immune attack, but can serve as target. What does it mean? There are few places in our body like brain, eye, testes, uterus or fetus, they are immunologically privileged. It does not uh, really mean that no immune system is there. So, T cell can go there, B cell can go there, but there are certain mechanism. Okay. So, brain has a blood brain barrier, not everything in can cross. Okay. So, uh, in uh, uterus they have a placenta membrane or trophoblast. So, it is normally when baby is born uh, our uh, T cell, B cell cannot travel that uh, uh, easily. Okay. So, they are they have barrier, they have certain T regulatory cell which control the immune system. So, somehow these places are not very active site for immune reaction that is why they are called immunologically privileged site. But what happened by any chance suppose there are two eyes one eye by some trauma or blow or some accident it is damaged what happened then the antigen will release and you know the dendritic cells or Langerhans cells are there. So, the at broken cells or the antigen will brought to the nearest lymph node where the reaction will happen that we already know I am not going to discuss. So, so much antigen full of antigen of that uh, originated from this retina or the eye or the ocular region come and the T cell will be activated and that T cell activated T cell can go and damage both the eye, but this is not a normal case, but it can happen and autoimmunity may be responsible for that. Autoreactive T cells that express particular cytokines may be non pathogenic normally autoreactive means all the subset of T cell Th 1, Th 2, Th 17 these cells are not doing any harm to us. Okay. They are non pathogenic, but sometimes they also become pathogenic lymphocytes. they are suppressed because just in case if some similarity are there they activate and then it will cause the problem. Autoimmune response can control at various stages of regulatory cells. Okay. How? So, T cell specific for self antigen recognize in thymus. So, that is what we are calling. So, if the thymus that we just mentioned, if thymus it react with our own antigen, the natural regulatory become natural regulatory T cells. So, normally T cell regulatory cells how it is developed? So, when T cells interact with or moderately, moderately interact with our own protein, it become T regulatory cells. Okay. This is in thymus, this is central regulation and peripheral regulation also, if T cell specific or self protein or commensal microbiota that which is present in our elementary canal and other parts of the body, which is helpful that if it is interacting with that protein, that means it is not supposed to do, but by any chance if the if this T cell somehow released from not the regulatory the regular T cell released from thymus to peripheral blood and interact with the same or similar protein here there also the antigen presenting cell produce T G A beta which make them T regulatory cells. So, either in the central system the like thymus or in peripheral system if it interacts with our own protein then either by cytokines or they are also cytokines definitely involved. So, they become T regulatory cells and I already told T regulatory means the negative impact is there. So, what happened? What happened? So, suppose this become T regulatory cells okay, by interacting with our own protein. In this case if non I mean some active T cells somehow they bind to this same I mean same antigen or same uh, antigen presenting cell interacting with this. So, what will happen which is already T regulatory cell converted it will produce T G F beta L 10 and inactivate them. So, 
what I mean so these T regulated cells which generated in the central system or in the peripheral system can inhibit the T cells which is interacting with our own protein this is a normal case. So, that means that is how we survive that is always happening that is why you do not see autoimmunity so often. Okay. So, these are the different thing like uh, autoimmune tolerance and uh, making and breaking that means these are the points by which self tolerance made. I am just summarizing what we told if any of such thing are not function normally that means some problem will happen and that problem means autoimmunity. What are those I am just going through quickly a critical function of the immune system that we already discussed. I, uh, okay. So, that is our own system is discriminate self and non self multiple tolerance mechanism are there what is that this is um, peripheral tolerance and uh, central tolerance right they they maintain like T cell regulatory central deletion is the major point like deletion of the auto and uh, antigen reacting um, B cell and T cell. So, that no B cell T cell supposed to interact strongly with our own I am now I am saying strongly initial part when you are studying the diversity B T cell immunity B cell immunity their development we are telling that deleted but now we are saying which is acting strongly only they are deleted not all because in all if all the B cell receptor will be deleted self reacting then our immune system will also be compromised. Okay. Lymphocyte that binds self antigen with relatively low affinity usually ignore them. So, normally they do not do any harm to our own protein weak interaction or moderate interaction okay, only strong interaction can create problem but do not do, but sometimes it is activated the example I gave with the DNA. Antigens in immunologically privileged site normally they do not induce the immune attack what I gave an example with the eye that the normally the immune system do not react much, but if there is any breakage or injury or the damage of the tissue that can happen also. Auto reactive T cells that express particular cytokines that is non pathogenic do not do non pathogenic pathogenic means they do not do any harm to our own, but may suppress the pathogenic lymphocyte okay. or, uh, or may suppress the pathogenic lymphocytes. So, that is how we survive, but if there is any problem again disease autoimmune response can be controlled by various stages and regulatory cells like what I said the T regulatory cell at the central peripheral or TH1, TH2 all there is a balance okay, T17. So, that balance is very important all are uh, there okay, they are supposed to fight for foreigner only, but sometimes if the foreigner and uh, our own um, protein foreign protein and own protein are very similar we cannot figure it out right. You I mean you can see we are so similar I mean all suppose uh, for example, there are some uh, very rarely you can figure it out difference between uh, all the Europeans, okay. but there are certain difference very minute difference, but for us which who are not habituated to see Europeans of different country for long time we cannot figure it out who is from which country okay, even that is true for India also we cannot suddenly say who is from which state because if they are look similar. So, that close similarity sometime create problems okay, and that can cause autoimmunity. Okay. So, for today this is all.